Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. And now we will make this effect. Just kidding. We will make this effect. But first, I want to talk about my collaboration with Meze Ario. I've got to use their premium headphones and wanted to share my personal experience. First of all, I really really like how they look and feel. These 99 classics have the most unique look and feels really comfortable and durable as well. Listening music in them is pure pleasure. I've tried different styles of music and was surprised how good they sound. It feels like you are in actual place where music is playing live. Of course, this signature Meze Audio sound is achieved thanks to wooden ear cups, which comforts a warmer sound and better isolation from environment. I gave my headphones to listen to a bunch of my friends, and they also pointed out how well they perform at different settings, which are interesting to manipulate. Just check first link in description and choose your own pair of outstanding headphones. And now, let's get started. I'm using Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This footage you will find in description below. For this effect you'll need to have external plugin Trapcode Particular. So let's drag and drop this footage right here to create new composition. Then select this pen tool and let's cut all of our background. So we will have only our character and green screen. Then type here at effects and presets key and drag and drop this preset on our footage. Let's make few changes here. I set this value to 300, so basically you need to get rid of green background. Let's also change to combined matte to see our key in better. Then go to screen matte and let's change clip white to 1. In this way we will bring back more of our cells. Then let's change to intermediate result and enable this advanced spill suppressor. So now let's work on our background. Just drag and drop these two pictures here. Second one is a background and first one is a texture. Just press S on keyboard to see our scale. Let's make it bigger and move it over. I set it to soft light so we would have this comic book style. Then let's use this rectangle tool here. Just left mouse click and hold, select rectangle tool and cut this middle part. Let's set our mask to subtract. Then feather let's set to about 250. Let's spread it a bit and close this tab. Now let's work on our footage. Go to effect, color correction, curves. Let's set transfer mode to screen and now we want to see more details. So let's make this contrast curve here at RGB channel and let's add some blue and maybe less of red. Now let's duplicate our footage, go to edit, duplicate. Then select our duplicated footage and let's reset our curves. Let's make it a bit brighter, just make this shape. Then let's apply tint effect, just type tint and drag and drop on our footage and also type find edges. So drag and drop on our footage. So idea here is to make our edges more visible. Set to invert and let's also go to effect, color correction curves and let's add more blue colors to it. And maybe let's make it a bit brighter. As you can see it adds more details in our character, especially at hair. Let's duplicate our footage one more time. Go to edit, duplicate. Press return on keyboard to rename it. Let's call it blur. And let's delete all effects starting with curves and below it. Then change it to normal and go to layer precompose. Let's also call it blur and click OK. Now we can change it to adjustment layer. Just click on this checkbox here and let's apply some blur. Basically any blur will do. I'll use fast blur. I'll set it mine to 7. As you can see now we can't just see through ourselves. With this blur we add in some extra dimension. I think it looks great. And now let's work on our animation map. Just select our footage and go to edit duplicate. Let's set it above. Press return on keyboard and type animation. Let's also delete this curves effect. Then click on this toggle switch here and transfer mode. Let's set it to normal. Now we need to precompose it. Just go to layer, precompose, and let's also call it animation and click OK. Let's open it. So basically, now we will create the map for our animation. Let's find the moment in time where I touch my head with my finger, just about here, and cut this layer to this moment. Then left mouse click here and hold to choose ellipse tool, select our footage and draw a circle around my finger. 
Let's set this mask to intersect. And now let's animate mask path. Just open this tab here, click on this stopwatch. And about here, let's make it this mask bigger. Just double click on one of the points and make it bigger. Then select this last keyframe and press F9 on keyboard. It will make animation softer. Then select mask 2 and go to edit, duplicate. Change this mask to subtract. Let's open this tab here and select first keyframe and press F9 to also make this animation softer. Select these keyframes and move it over. So basically by changing this keyframes position, we can control how fast our animation will go. You can also go to graph editor and adjust animation speed. Ok, it looks good. Now let's go to footage composition and set our animation to screen. So now we are ready to add some particles. Go to layer, new solid. Let's call it particular, cause this plugin we will use. Type here particular and drag and drop on our solid. Let's make few adjustments to our emitter. I'll set my particles per second to 1500, velocity to 0 and emitter type to layer. Now we can go to layer emitter and before setting our layer, select our animation. Click on this toggle switch here and set it to 3D. It needs to be done to work. And now we can change this animation layer. As you can see it already works. Now let's set our life of particles to 0.8. Sphere feather let's set it to 0 and sides let's set it to 55. Also let's open this size over life and enable this preset. As you can see our particles is everywhere and our goal is to have them only on our character. So let's duplicate this blur layer, go to edit, duplicate, press return to rename it, let's call it matte, uncheck this checkbox, then click on this toggle switch here and place above our particles layer. Let's also delete this fast blur effect. Now we can select our particle layer and set it to alpha matte. As you can see, now our particles are cut off just around our character. Let's also add some more bright colors. Just select our animation layer and go to effect, color correction curves. Make this shape here and also let's apply tint effect. Go to effect, color correction tint and set it to 12. So colors wouldn't be so vibrant. Now we can make our edges a bit more interesting. Just select our footage and go to edit, duplicate. We will make some chromatic aberrations. Let's set it above animation. Then let's delete all effects except key light. And then let's type find edges. Click invert. Let's go to effect color correction tint. And here we can change colors of our chromatic aberrations. I'll set mine to yellow and blue. Then let's apply effect called embers. Drag and drop here. And change our transfer mode to hard light. As you can see effect already works. Direction maybe let's set it to 90 and with these two values you can adjust the look of it. I'll set mine to 2 and contrast maybe to 50. If you want different colors just change them here. Let's preview this. So basically that's it. You can also open animation composition and adjust these keyframes to play around with the speed of your animation. But keep in mind that particular plugin will not refresh itself. You'll need to go to edit, purge, all memory and then your animation will be refreshed. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.